Hi folks, in this video, we're sponsored by Graphic Stock and we're gonna take a look at the offer that they've put together for this year's holidays. If you visit the link below in the description, you can get $50 off their annual subscription. And let's have a look at their website and see what we can do with Graphic Stock images. Right, so again, loads of people ask me where do I get my graphics from? Well, I've recently subscribed to a paid subscription website called Graphic Stock, and I'm gonna take you through the Graphic Stock web website in a second, but uh, let's first explain to you what we're gonna be doing. Well, my son Jimmy's just started his own business, and we've created uh, a sign outside the front of his business, and from that sign, we're also gonna produce him some T-shirt graphics on the Silhouette Cameo Cutter and using the heat press so that he can advertise his business while he's working. So initially what I was looking for was some royalty free images and once you sign up for the Graphic Stock website, you can use all of their images, 300,000 plus images, and you can use them in any commercial situation because they give you an actual commercial li a license for the royalty free images. So you can never get pulled up uh, for using these images. So so let's take a little look at Grab's graphic stock. We'll grab some images off there and then we'll then go through the Cameo Silhouette Cutter, import the images into there, cut them out and then apply them to a t-shirt. So let's do that now. Right, so we've just popped over now to the graphic stock uh, website. I just want to show you around that and just talk about this and why it's probably going to be beneficial if you're into creating graphics online and you do run the risk of using Google Images, which you could get hit for a copyright strike for. Graphic Stock has the largest unlimited download library of graphics, photos, vectors, and images on the internet, apparently. Now, they have over 300,000 plus graphics, photos, vectors, and images. Now, most websites, they charge per image or per graphic for you to be able to use their image in a commercial project and it can cost as much as sort of $30, which is probably about, I don't know, 20 pounds if you're in the UK. And these costs can add up really quickly if you're designing a website, running a blog or a YouTube channel like I do, or making DIY art projects or t-shirt designs that you may want to sell, as I'm gonna show you in, in the next few clips. With Graphic Stock, you get unlimited downloads for one flat annual fee, and all memberships come with 100% free royalty free agreement and this means that you're protected and cannot get sued by the copyright owners to use these images in your commercial pro uh, projects now usually it's 99 dollars for a year but for this season this holiday season graphic stock is offering an exclusive 50 dollars discount so you get access to the massive image library and royalty free license for 50 dollars off so really, it's really worth taking something like this where you haven't got to worry about getting done for breach of copyright in some of your image, especially if you advertise your products on eBay, as we mostly do anyway. So let's just take a look now at what we're gonna do. And we, we want to create Jimmy's T-shirt design and also his external sign. So we want some sort of car images. So all I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna type in car silhouette and press search. Now, as I say, I'm just looking for some line drawings, really, that I can transfer into my craft cutter, get the outlines, and then I'm able to use them for any different color vinyl that I require. So I'm just scrolling down here, and just looking at the random images. These are quite nice images, which uh, uh, look like pretty simple designs. So I'm gonna take four of these images, and all I'm basically going to do is click on the image, first of all, and this takes you to uh, the page where you can either download the EPS file or a JPEG file in this case. Well I only need the JPEG file in this case so I'm just going to click on that and it's a nice big image as we can see there 3000 by 1710 pixels and I'm just going to click the download link and that saves to my computer and once I save it I'm just going to right click open the containing folder and I'm just going to click on that to show you it open. That's the image I've actually downloaded. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to download another four images and then we'll import them images into our craft cutter. So let's pop over to the Cameo Silhouette 
and I'll show you how we can install these images from graphic stock into our cameo silhouette for us to cut out on vinyl right so I've just pulled up a 12 by 12 size sheet of paper and I'm just going to go to the registration mark settings and I'm going to turn them off and I'm also going to remove the carrier sheet because we don't need that in the design page setting right so all we're left with is a square sheet of paper that red line there is the cut border I could take that off if I wanted to but I like leaving that on because it just gives me some indication as to where the graphic could fall when I'm cutting so I'm gonna leave that on right so all we do we go up to the file in the top of the corner and then we click merge and then we locate the images which we've already saved on there so we've got four car images here as you can probably see and I'm gonna just click on one of them at a time and that will then bring the image into our silhouette cameo cutter now as you can see it's on our page now we can just literally move it anywhere on the page just by grabbing hold of it with the mouse and holding the left mouse button down and just moving it about so what I'm going to do is to now trace the outline of this image and to do that you go over to your little blue box with a yellow outline and it says open the trace window so I'm going to click on that once that then brings up the box below it which says select the trace area so I'm going to click that once and what that does then that means that the little mouse which is on the page now the little icon I'm going to just put it around the image hold it in one of the top corners hold the left mouse button down and then drag a box around that image as you can see and once I'm fully around the image let go when I let go it puts a yellow line around the image but what we need to do we need to take the high pass filter off which I'm going to do there and as you can see that's filled in the rest of the thing the rest of the car the vehicle and then all I'm going to say then is we've got three options here trace trace outer edge and trace and detach I want to just click the trace option at the top once you've done that the yellow disappears and there's an actual thin red line which is the cut line around the image so if I just move the mouse onto the black part of the car again hold the left mouse button down drag it out the way the picture as you can see below that is our cut line so this image now the, the, the car image as you can see there I don't need that anymore now so if I right click on that and then cut that means I'm left with our image on the page and if I click on the image when the image turns to the little hand then you can click on the left mouse button and then you can basically grab hold of a diagonal corner and then basically resize that image to whatever size you want now what I'm going to do now is just do that one more time because I'm going to keep this image I want the four images on this page so we're going to go and just grab another image now uh, click file merge locate the second image wherever I've kept it there's the second image click OK that comes onto the page in exactly the same way I'm dragging that over to the middle and then all I'm going to do is exactly the same by clicking select trace area and drag the box again around just the black image this time and let go click select trace area I'm going to take the high pass filter off and I'm going to trace and there we go exactly the same again move that image out of the way the black car right click on it and just delete it and now that leaves the second car on the page just click on one of the lines and again resize that to the size you actually require and then move it to where you actually require onto the page right well I'm just going to carry on doing this for the moment I'm going to put some graphics on the page as well and to do the graphics it's just a matter of hitting the text tool choosing your font down there and then putting it on the page and then typing in typing in your graphics your, your words wherever you want them on the page I won't do that here I'm just gonna set this up and then we'll come back to that in a second when I've put these items on the page right well as you can see there I've actually just filled in uh, some text there with his telephone number website address and the phrase and there's the four cars on there all ready to be cut out now so 
All I have to do now is to choose my vinyl. Now, bearing in mind that we've done this as an actual sign, and you've seen the picture of the sign uh, which we have outside. When using sign vinyl, you don't have to actually reverse the image because we laid the sign or graphics on a board and that means that the uh, sign vinyl has the adhesive on the back side whereas t-shirt vinyl has the adhesive on the other side so in this case we need to reverse this image so I'm just gonna click object mirror flip horizontally and that means now we can apply cut this graphic out using our craft cutter so right in this instance we're just going to turn the craft cutter on and we're using a lovely sky blue vinyl and I'm just going to open the door to that put the vinyl in with no carrier sheet and click the load media button and in the vinyl goes so one thing I just want to ensure is the cut settings and I know for a fact that the cut settings on heat transfer smooth and I've moved the uh, thickness up to number eight in the software there. And I know that that cuts. So I'm just gonna now click the sensor silhouette and let the cutter do its work. Right, okay then, here we are at the weeding out table. Let's weed this design out and let's see what we got. Right, there we go. Just turn it over. And there we go, it's all weeded out. Just always good to make a double check that you've actually done it. So let's now press this onto our garment. Right, okay then, so I'm just gonna now press our T-shirt just to give it a pre-press to get any moisture out of it. I've got my 16 by 20 Galaxy heat press here. And I'm just gonna hold it down for about 10 seconds, and I like to press the whole t-shirt as I've shown you in other videos because you do get moisture in these garments and not only that, when you press them it can leave a square imprint on, so I don't like to ship them out like that, I like to ship them out looking all uniform and that's the reason why I do completely press the whole of the actual garment involved it just looks a whole lot better and finishes the job off. This t-shirt is an XL by the way. If I wanted to put it on a smaller t-shirt, I'd obviously decrease the size of the graphic. Easily done in the Cameo Silhouette software. So right, we've just basically pressed all of our garment. But I'm gonna put this graphic on the back of a t-shirt. So again, I'm just gonna lay it down on our worktop, nice and, nice and square. I'm gonna get our graphic and just place that in the middle of the back and I'm just gonna press that down like that some people have only got a 15 by 15 heat press in which case if we have, if I have a look at the length of this graphic this is a 17 and a half inch graphic there so you may be having to do the graphic in two pieces and that's not a problem in other words pressing half half at a time isn't a problem if you've only got 15 by 15 my press is a 16 by 20 so I'm able to turn the graphic around lengthways and I'm going to do that now let's show you that 
Right, and I've got the benefit of the auto slide, which means we can just pull that out. We'll grab our graphic and our t-shirt and just lay it across the actual heat plan turn. And as I say, that's the bonus of having a larger heat press. So we've just positioned that on there like that. I'm going to get my Teflon sheet just to protect the garment as well. Push that back in. And our press is up to 170 degrees. And we're going to press this for 20 seconds with a nice firm pressure. There we go. Press down auto lock. And this will automatically pop up when the 20 seconds is up. So we're nearly there now. And then this is a warm pill tree shirt vinyl and then I'll just peel the vinyl off while the garment is still hot there we go off with the cover sheet pull the slide out and now it's a hot one just literally peel it straight off that's the cover sheet out of the way and I'm sure you'll agree there's our lovely looking graphic on our t-shirt, made with our graphic stock images, so we've got no worries there at all about breaking any copyright laws. They cut out absolutely fantastic, as you can see. Let's try and get them nearer for you. These are the images here, as you can probably see. Our little vehicles just complement our car vehicle body shop uh, graphic, which we wanted to create. And we've done that simply by bringing the graphic stock images into our Cameo Silhouette Cutter and then transferring them onto our t-shirt garment. If I wanted to make that smaller, as I said to you, it would be easily done just by reducing the size of the image in the Cameo software. But this now is able to be washed at 60 degrees, which is the hot wash, and we'll have no problem at all with the image coming off of the t-shirt. Let's show you again, and I'm sure you'll agree that that is a lovely graphic there. Superb. So there you have it. We've used graphic stock images there. And don't forget, you can also use graphic stock images. If you're like me, you make YouTube videos on your little eye dents. They have some fantastic backgrounds. And if you pull them into uh, a little photo editing piece of software, you're guaranteed to get the most eye popping graphics that you probably can uh, create using their royalty free images. And you will have a license for that as well. Now don't forget to go to the link in the description if you want to take advantage their $50 off their annual fee by visiting graphicstock.com forward slash holidays. And I'll leave a link in the description below so you can take advantage of that offer. It's a great little website, as I say, with over 300,000 images. And I'm sure, like me, you can find something to create your unique artwork without having to steal anybody else's artwork and risk being done for copyright infringement by using other images you find on Google Images. There you go. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you again in the next video. And until then, bye for now.